in this segment, I want to talk about that damn cell phone. Man, damn near tilted me over the edge the first day I got out. So I remember after we did all the preliminary stuff, kissing and greeting and hugging and you know my three daughters was present when I was uh when I when I was released, my wife, uh my grandchildren, they was present. So by the time we get to the car and they get in the car, the first thing they do is grab their phone and they like this. Fast, moving their hands fast, right? All six of them, they, they moving their hand fast, right? And so I felt like the car was going too fast. I felt like the car was going 200 miles an hour. And then I felt like they were doing something as fast as the car was going, right? So I'm, I'm trying, I'm like, I'm doing my meditation. I'm, I'm trying not to be different. I'm trying not to, I'm trying to hold my composure. I'm trying to like stop from busting out and say, man, what the hell is y'all doing? So I sit quietly and they doing what they doing. And Im immediately I get a, 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 a migraine headache. Immediately, all kind of information is coming in real fast. It's brand new, and so I'm, I'm riding. We riding on the expressway. They going 200 miles an hour. Then they are all on the on the way. They take me to the halfway house. They doing this, and then when we as we ride and we ride, and, and, and my wife she look back and she see how I'm looking, and she she do this. Here, here go yours. I'm like, no, 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 hold it, hold it. You hold it for me. I didn't want, I was scared to touch the phone. I'm telling you, this shit, I mean, I didn't, so we ride and we ride and they ride 200 miles an hour. They, they doing something 200 miles an hour. And so we get off the expressway. And then I see people on the bus stop. They got cell phones. And I'm like, no, I'm like, stop, I'm like, no way. I'm like, how can people that's waiting on a bus have a cell phone? And when I was out, you know, we used to pay $1,700, $1,800 a month for cell phone until we was able to get those burnouts. So now I'm riding, you know, I got a headache. I want to ask questions. I want to ask what the hell y'all doing, but I don't want to seem out of place. I don't want to seem crazy, so I don't say anything. I'll tell you this damn cell phone. So my wife, she gets me to the halfway house, and so they go get me a flip phone because in the halfway house, you can't have an iPhone. They give you a flip phone. I get, I think it don't have internet. It don't have all that stuff on it. So I'm walking around. I'm, I'm walking around with my flip phone, right? So by the time I get settled down and into my dorm, into my room, I'm noticing that the dudes inside they have a iPhone and the flip phone and so one of the brothers he was showing me what the phones do and i'm like wow i was amazed so the guy navigate me through the phone and this first i'm scared to touch it that one so he navigate me through the phone he showed me certain things this is facebook this is uh, 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 Twitter, this and this, and, and to me, I'm looking at him while his mouth is going 200 miles an hour. Sound like he's saying, wah, 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 wah. 
I don't understand nothing that he's saying, right? But he advised me, get you one of these phones. So I like, I, my wife got me one. So I asked my wife the next morning, I said, when you come in the morning, bring my, bring my phone. She said, I thought you said you don't want it. I said, but I want it now, right? So, so the next day, the day go by. So the next day, the next morning on her way to work, she stopped by the halfway house. She gets out the car and give me a hug. And then she hand me the cell phone. Now, mind you, the halfway house got all kind of cameras everywhere and we not supposed to have the cell phone, right? So she give me the cell phone. I take it and put it in my pants. I'm looking, I'm like, what you doing? You not supposed to give me the phone out here like that. I'm like, man, this damn cell phone. So I at the halfway house at Banyan, you know, you have to have to buzz your way, you have to hit the buzzer and they let you in the door, right? So I hit the buzzer. They're like, Mr. Campbell, come to the office and see us immediately, please. I'm like, oh Lord, I done got knocked off with the cell phone, man. This damn cell phone. So they let me in, they let me in the gate. So I'm walking to the office. So while I'm in the office, I duck off in the, in, behind the cut and I, and I told one of the dudes, the dude that showed me how to use the cell phone, I like, man, hold this for me. I gotta go to the office. So I give him the cell phone and I slowly walk to the office. I'm like, oh man, they done not, oh, they got me on camera and all that stuff, right? So I, I buzz my way in the, in the office. I get in the office and the lady tell me, tell your wife to come back. So now my heart pounding. I'm like, this damn, this damn cell phone, man. I knew I shouldn't have messed with it. And I'm scared of the phone. So the, the people told me, no, you have been approved to go to go home to go to home confinement tell your wife to come back and get you so i'm like oh man so i'm happy so when i go back outside and i see the dude man i get my damn cell phone back from him. man <laughs> man that damn cell phone man almost tilted me over man to going berserk it almost drove me wild Hey, this Sunny Days 305 Degrees Podcast. If you like this message, hit the like button, subscribe, and share to my YouTube page so you can get the next hot video, the next hot topic. Peace.